Have you ever thought about how important time is in our lives? Whether it's meeting a friend or catching a train, knowing time is crucial. And a simple wristwatch with a timing error of only a few seconds is more than enough for our daily life. But did you know that our satellite-based navigation system also relies on time? And there is such a small timing error of only a few seconds would result in a positional error of hundreds of thousands of kilometers. But luckily, our navigation system relies on much more precise clocks, atomic clocks. And there it's not gears or strings sticking, but electrons inside atoms oscillating at a perfectly regular rate. Imagine a clock as a ruler. The more markings you have, the more precise you can measure. In this example, a wristwatch will have around 30 thousands of markings while an atomic clock would have hundreds of trillions of markings, allowing extremely precise measurements. The current best atomic clocks are so precise, it would be like hitting a bacterium on Mars from Earth. So how do these amazing atomic clocks work? The best atomic clocks, so-called passive atomic clocks, use extremely stable lasers to illuminate atoms to measure their natural oscillations. It's kind of like using a flashlight to inspect tiny markings on a ruler. But even the best flashlight flickers slightly, limiting how precisely we can see. And in these clocks, atoms emit light individually and we measure their oscillations separately. In my work to overcome the limitations of passive clock, we are building a new type of clock, so-called active atomic clock where atoms in themselves emit light we use to tell time. So instead of using an imperfect light to illuminate atoms, we let the atoms make their own perfect signal. So you might be wondering if it's as easy as it sounds, why it hasn't been done already. Well, the light emitted by atoms is usually too low to be practically used. So we need a way to enhance their emission. And by careful preparation of atoms, we can bring them to emit super radiantly, meaning they all emit at the same time into the same direction at an enhanced rate. It's kind of like a choir singing perfectly in sync, more harmonious and much stronger than all individual voices alone. So you see, by pushing the limits of timekeeping, we are not only building better clocks, but also helping to search for dark matter, to study earthquakes and natural catastrophes, and in general, helping to find new ways to understand how our universe works.